Welcome to this video on stable diffusion in which we'll have a look how we can find and how we can install different models also called checkpoints. When I did my one step install of stable diffusion it came with a model which is called stable diffusion 1.5. Uh, well here is a prompt of Jane Eyre. Uh, let's generate with that model and then we will see that yeah, while Jane Eyre comes out uh, it does not exactly look great. Uh, the eye over here is not wonderful and we, yeah, of course we can tinker with in painting and do all kinds of stuff to improve it but this model is a general model. It can do a little bit of everything. There are different models that are specifically trained to generate images of people in a high quality. One of those um, models, for instance, is deliberate. And let's, with the exact same prompt and exact same settings, generate Jane Eyre again. And now look what comes out. This is, well, this is a stunningly nice picture, isn't it? Um, and suppose that you are more into uh, anime, we can do that too. If I change the model to an anime model like Orange Mix, uh, then look what happens without changing any word in the prompt we get an anime image out of this. Yeah, that's because that model is specifically trained to do these things. Okay, now the question is, of course, how can I find these models and how can I install them? Well, that is quite simple, luckily. Let's have a look. There is this absolutely wonderful website called Civit A and that offers a wealth of resources. Uh, if on the top left we would click models and click all and here at the right we would select all time and then in the filter select checkpoints or models then uh, we get a, yeah, a huge collection of available models and you can uh, change the order here in highest rated, most downloaded and so forth. Uh, these blurred images, they are there because there is a mature content filter and yeah, because we are on YouTube I have switched that on. These two models that we just used, they are available here. This is deliberate and this is the orange mix. Uh, but I already got them, so for this demo let's find another model. I'm interested for instance in architecture, so I can go to this search field, type arch, and then I find a couple of models. Uh, interior design, yeah, that's nice, I would like to have that. There we are, there is some info, we will get back to that later. Uh, here's a simple download button, all we have to do is click it. Uh, the size is 4 gigabytes. Yes, that is a little issue with these models. They are quite large, uh, usually between 2 and 7 gigabytes. So you need a little bit disk space if you want to have a lot of them. Um, okay, let's click download and see what happens. Well, what happens is this. Uh, when the download is finished, in my downloads folder, I now have this file and what we need to do is move this file so what i'm going to do is click right click and then cut and then we have to move it to our stable diffusion install folder and there we have a folder called models and inside that we finally have this folder stable diffusion and that is where the models reside. Uh, look over there. And then I right click and hit paste. And there is this model. What I do, that's a personal thing, uh, I change the name. Let's do that. Uh, this is a architectural uh, model. So I will 
give it this abbreviation arc and I have uh, anime general and realistic so that's how I can easily distinguish all these weird names that these models have uh, this is all for the installation and now yeah we just restart uh, the stable diffusion and then we will have this model okay I restart it and let's now render a room with a few modern interior cream colors and let's first render it with our default stable diffusion 1.5 and let's see what that does and then we will again render it with our new architectural model this is what it produces it is a room with a view with cream colors uh, well what is this a great image well i would not put it in a catalog uh, now let's have a look what our new architectural model does and let's just enable it and it takes a while because it has to read that four gigabytes now we uh, use the exact same prompt and well this looks much much better doesn't it so installing a model or checkpoint is uh, not a difficult task, just download it and move it to the models folder. Okay, so far so good, that was easy. However, it can be beneficial to have a look at the details of the model that are posted with the download page. And often we come across words like VAE or baked or pruned or FP16, FP32, what does all this mean and how can I deal with it? Well, first the uh, FP16, FP32, that is the floating point accuracy of the model. Um, often uh, one model is available in both and it uh, is quite simple. In almost all cases, the FP16 is accurate enough you won't notice the difference uh, in the images that come out so if that is available just download that because it uh, will have a smaller size then we have models that are pruned and models that are not what does that mean simply that the model is cleaned up uh, there is no uh, additional data that is not needed it is a clean model which again leads to the smallest possible file size so if you can get a pruned model just download that it will be smaller then we have this VAE which stands for variable auto encoder and every model needs a VAE because that is the step that creates the pixels on your screen from the generated internal latent image and uh, well that depends on the details that come with the model let's have a look uh, for instance this abyss orange mix model it has uh, some discussion on the VAE here at the bottom it says uh, there is no VAE baked in this model yeah baked that is the term that is used some models come with a VAE baked in some models specify a specific VAE like this one does it says uh, well one of the model the VAEs that uh, gives good results is KLF8 or the orange mix VAE uh, well the next question is if we don't have those where can we get those we can for instance go back to Civit IA and in the filter over here at the right we select VAE and there are a couple one of them is this uh, FT, MSE, whatever, uh, which is the orange mix. So we can download that or just Google some. And I found another website um, that is called IATUTS and that has a page on VAEs. And then if we scroll down, we find this KLF8 that was mentioned and also this uh, other one that I just downloaded and when you have downloaded this uh, installation is again very simple 
just go to your stable diffusion web ui folder inside you have the models folder and there you have a vae folder and that is where you move these vae files to and then restart the whole thing and you will have them available but now we still have to select it and well as we can see i have a vae selector over here and i can now uh, change this to my new downloaded vae uh, but probably if you have not changed your ui yet you don't have this vae selector yet so let's see how we can add it for that we go to the settings tab and in the left pane we find the user interface then scroll down a little until you find the quick settings that appear at the top of the page by default it has only the model selector and i added this vae how did i do that just click over here there is a whole list of things that you can put over there scroll down until you find uh, sdvae click that then you have this uh, little text here and then you are okay and then um, uh, don't forget to apply the settings and then you should have your vae selector over there does it make a difference well let's do do a one quick test we are going to render our Jane Eyre with the orange mix model, but then with the default automatic VAE. So I have not changed the VAE. Let's generate and let's see how Jane Eyre looks. And then she looks like this. And this is yeah a little bit washed out, I would say. So let's change to the uh, other VAE that we just installed in that folder. Let's generate again. And if all goes well, we should have a lot brighter or more saturated colors. And indeed we do. So that VAE is doing its job. And of course you are free to download as many VAEs as you can find just select it until maybe you find an even better uh, image that you like more well this was it about uh, downloading models all you have to do is put them in the models folder and they are ready for use and sometimes read the details if you also need another vae also download that and put it in your vae folder that's it Maybe see you back in the next video and in the meantime, have fun.